Hey, Dave Stoblin here. Let's do an applications problem. Um, you'll find the link to this worksheet in your stuff. Um, so basically what we have to do is we have to create us write a sine curve equation for this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, find the minimums here and I'm going to draw a horizontal line across. I'm going to find the maximums and draw a horizontal line across. So there's the max and there's the min. Now one of the things that we know, the max tidal height was 11.5 meters and the minimum was 1.5 meters. So um, we don't actually have to try and read this scale, which is very hard to read. Um, and then the next thing we know is that the period is approximately 12 and a half hours. So let's see, there's 24, 12 is gonna be here, 12 and a half is gonna be in there somewhere. Um, let's, let's come back to that. <clears throat> Um, we need to find a sine equation measuring T in the inner hours. Use the equation to predict the height at six hours. All right, so here's the things that we need to know. Um, we're going to write this equation. It's going to be Y equals A sine B theta minus H plus K. So we need to find the amplitude the number of cycles in uh, 2 pi, because we're going to do this in radians. And then we need the, um, the horizontal shift and the vertical shift. All right, so first thing, let's find out where this middle is. So if we want to find the value of the middle, we can do 11.5 plus 1.5 divided by 2. Let's do that. Um, 11.5 plus 1.5 equals divided by 2. So 6.5 is the middle. So I'm just going to draw a line here. And that's 6.5 meters. Okay, so here's what we know. The distance from the middle to the max or the middle to the min is the amplitude. So let's do this. Let's do 6.5 minus 1.5 is 5. So that's the amplitude. So y equals 5 sine. And then let's see the next thing. Well, that value is the k value, so that's how far the middle is above the x-axis. And then, let's see, you know what, we could do this in degrees. Is it easier for you to do it in degrees? Degrees. Um, so what we would say is we know that, that, um, Oh, the period is equal to 360 degrees divided by B. And up here, it tells us the period is 12 and a half. So we can substitute 12 and a half in here. And then we can solve for B. So if we cross multiply and solve, I'm going to just do it in my head, but B equals 360 over 12 and a half divided by 12.5 is 28.8. 28.8. Okay, so then the last thing we need to do is we need to find where is the horizontal shift. All right, well, here's the sign, and we know that uh, it kind of looks like, like that. 
And the other thing that we know is that the sine always starts in the middle going up. Okay, so um, if we know that the period is 12 and a half, that means that the beginning to that end is 12 and a half. So that person is, that point is 12 and a half. And so this point is halfway between 0 and 12 and a half. So that's going to be 6.25. And that's the amount of horizontal shift. Okay. So now we have an equation. And we want to find the tidal height at 6 hours. Um, 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 um. So let's see, the y value gives us the height, and that is essentially, normally we'd say that's degrees, but it's really hours, so that's where we would plug in the 6.